Nightmare! Capital of Science, Master of Mace Ball. You know, it's funny, Nightman stage has a, um... Oh, cool, I get a free man. Um, I need that, I'm gonna get game over. Uh, Nightman stage, you know, it's got a little bit of this European castle look to it, which is kind of funny. Because it puts me in mind of what the new indie game, um... Oh, it's a little weird. He's like, hey, who hit me? Stop me from randomly shooting things. Um... For anybody that hasn't seen, oh hey, it's the Legacy of Dustman Returned Again. Uh, oh, this looks dangerous, I don't like it. For anybody that hasn't seen uh, videos of Shovel Knight, it's it's an indie game coming that has music from the old 8-bit um, Mega Man uh, composer, as well as a style very similar to Mega Man. It has a number of different knight types, and I think you might absorb their powers. I'm not totally sure how that works. And, uh, shovel, and of course, Shovel Knight uses a shovel, and he can kind of pogo on it, like the old DuckTales games. So it kind of looks like an interesting fusion of Mega Man and Duck, and, uh, classic DuckTales, which is a cool game. And, um... So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that turns out. I think it's supposed to be out next month. I think it was actually supposed to be out this month. But, uh... I think it got delayed. Oh! Oh, whoa. That was close. I'd really like to play that. I don't think I'm going to have money to get it right when it comes out, though. It's just a shame. I'd love to do some videos of that when it's fresh. Really cool-looking game. Really enjoying the music demo on it, too, so... That, the, the developer seems like they're really into it and really up to making a great game, so I'm hoping it turns out good. It's also uh, crowdfunded by Kickstarter, so I'm hoping it's another one of the games that actually turns out great so that we can say that not everything that comes out of Kickstarter is bad. Recently, Kickstarter's been getting some hate on things. Uh, okay, flip top, I'll take it. Recently, uh... Kickstarter's been getting some hate on certain things because certain games aren't coming out that good. Or they don't come out at all. Oh. He's... Ah! Okay. These things have, like, glasses on or something, and when you shoot them, they fall off, but... Uh... I think a lot of the other Kickstarter hate recently, too, is that a lot of people have really been psyched for the uh, Oculus Rift VR headset. And thing with the VR headset is... Oh, well, that's fun. Look at this bounciness. The Oculus Rift is something people have really been loving, and part of it was because it was actually funded by, you know, an independent company. And they thought maybe it would be better because it's independent and they don't have stupid proprietary people controlling it. Okay, there's a path down. I'm gonna guess this is the way to the beat path. Trying to find out. Oh, there's the other bow store. Must be. Oh, okay, it's right there, huh? That was close. But for anybody who doesn't know, the Oculus Rift uh, devs—they got like two million bucks or so in funding from Kickstarter. People were loving the results, and their founder sold them to Facebook for two billion dollars recently. So it's been getting a lot of hate from the starter community and gaming in general. Uh, I didn't have any money to invest, so I'm a little more neutral on that, although I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about Facebook owning something so important to gaming's future. Funny if this guy has a shield in my... Oh. Where's his web? Oh, Yamato. Whew! That was getting close there. This totally has to be where the beat part is. But yeah, a lot of people have been really been out of shape about them selling to Facebook. I don't like the idea that this big corporation has access to 
major gaming stuff like that either. I think part of it too is that a lot of people feel like they were a bunch of sellouts because of it. So, on the Centaur, ma'am. Dry battery? Ability unknown. Okay. It's supposed to scare me that his ability is unknown. Oh, well, that's kind of funny. You got like the seagull robot here. It, this is another one of the robots in the Mega Man series that has me like wondering what was the purpose of ever creating a seagull bot? Than to drop fish on Mega Man. Oh, almost walked right off that. I don't trust this fish either, so let's take advantage of some of these other weapons for change, man. Sadly, I can get kind of boring with my weapon choices, because I get a little conservative on... saving the energy on the... Oh. Ooh, that was close. It's kind of reminiscent of Bubble Man stage or something. Okay, now this is a little weird. I don't know what the deal with the gravity here is. It's kind of an interesting thing they did here, too, because, uh... Oh. When Mega Man gets in water, his buoyancy changes. Well, I should say gains buoyancy at all, you see? So you actually get more jump power by going up in there. And that looks incredibly dangerous, which is why I'm going to change to this. I'm sure that that was much safer. Now the water just disappears? What the hell? I can't stop trying to make sense out of Mega Man games. I'm just going to hurt my brain. I wish I had more of this series to record. Some things you just can't get the hardware for easily. Uh, no, I'm gonna pass on that flip top. Come on, flip top. I want a energy tank or a free man or some. I don't think so. Yeah, I would actually like to do a recording of Mega Man and Base, but that's from Game Boy Advance, and that's kind of a pain to do. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure something out. I do own a copy of Mega Man and Base. That's an interesting one that I could actually make a very long video of. It's, oh god, these guys suck. Uh, Mega Man and Base, you can play as Mega Man or Base. And uh, because of that, the game is a little more interesting. If you're not if you're not aware of who Base is, he comes in in uh, Mega Man 7 and... Um, Uh, this thing's just gonna keep falling. Okay. Thank you. Uh, base is well, and I don't want to say this is too much of a spoiler. It's right in the uh, Mega Man Seven intro, so well, base is another robot that I don't want to say too much about, to spoil too much, but he's similar to Mega Man. He can absorb uh, powers and stuff, so. Well, I think we obviously know that this is the this is the beat door here. Cause you couldn't just walk to that. But yeah, um, base can absorb powers too, and but instead of him charging up his Buster and being able to let a shot go like this, like Mega Man, he has a he has a rapid fire gun and he can shoot it in any direction. He also has a sidekick. Oh, support. Okay, well that sucked. I don't like that. Ah, you cheap bastard. Ah, wow, this guy's really tall and I don't like that. Um... Funny that you use a knight's weapon to take out the, um, centaur, right? 
But yeah, Mega Man base is kind of neat because Mega uh, base is a, just a little bit different, and he has his dog Treble instead of Rush, which is also similar to Mega Man. So. He hasn't done his cheap flashy thing yet. Oh, he's just gonna teleport on top of me instead. Wow, he didn't even get to do his special move. Wow, did I really get all these guys already? Quick run today! Safe to say that I got the beat part? Yeah, so now I got beat. And it looks like I get the flashy thing. Oh no, it's Mr. X! Okay, well, come on back for the next one and we will go after Mr. X.